Let's see here. Videos. I hit it longer. What's this? Uh, awkward lies. Awkward lie. Five stupid mistakes. Oh yeah, that's right up my alley. I should watch that. But before I do. I want to do a recap of week one, Badger Men's Golf League. And I'll get right to it. Um, on the, um, when I got there, teeing off, Phil came up to me to pay me on the first tee to pay me his green fees. And he just said, thank you. He said, thank you for handling all this. Uh, and that, well, actually, he thanked me twice. Uh, when I when he got done, I was at the picnic table. He uh, thanked me again for handling everything. So you're welcome, Phil. Thank you. I had another uh, member who refused to pay until I completed some tasks. But uh, nevertheless, hey, we're all different, and. That's a good thing. Maybe it's good that we're all different. If we're all the same, life would be boring. So, But let me do a recap here. So, the first tea time was uh, myself and my sub, which was Andy Stoughton. Andy had a great round. He shot a 39. Uh, I did not play so well. Uh, Rob, who who essentially outplayed me the whole time. I happened to somehow uh, score lower than him. I don't know how I did that because he outplayed me. Uh, and double A, Andy Arnold, I call him double A. Uh, he, he parred that par three and nice one, one putt to save that par. And he shot pretty good, 48. Um, next tee time was Jason and Bill against Pat and Jerry. Uh, Jerry played very well. Look at that, 43. Uh, Pat probably played close to his average. Um, these guys played close to their average, I believe. Uh, yeah, Bill. Bill played close, so not too bad altogether. Uh, let's see how many pars. Oh, Jason had, there he had a birdie, it looks like. No, that was a par. That was a par. And then Bill had a par on that par three. Um, let's see, anything special there? Uh, a couple of pars. Congrats to Jerry and Pat on that. Let's see, it looks like those guys came away. Oh, I know what happened there. Bill um, has a, a little bit of sportsmanship there, came back and uh, corrected his score, which cost him points. But you know what? He did the right thing and corrected his score, and those guys came away with all the points. Okay, moving on. The third tee time, which was Tom and Brian against Bruce and Phil. There again, the, the points you can see there, 2.5 to 0.5. Look at Tom there. If he would have just double bogeyed that par 3-7, I don't know why, Tom, you just didn't go ahead and double bogey that, and you would have had fives all the way across. Uh, if, if I was in that position, I would have just double bogeyed and, and made it fives. So that would have been sweet. Um, Brian played uh, a good game there. It looked like he had a couple of pars there. Par the par five and the par three. Nice. Very nice there. Phil played about his uh, right with his average, I believe. Let's see. Yep. Wait, Phil had exactly his average, 46. I think he won the ball there. I'll get to that. Yep, he won. Yes. Closest to your average. Well, Phil, for sure you won that. Okay, let's see, here's uh, fourth tee time. 
Greg and John. Look at Greg, 43. Not bad, buddy. So you had a, a par, par 5, par 3. Let's see. No, that's a bird there. That's a birdie. Nice. Let's see. John had, had a par there. A couple pars. Congrats there. Let's see. Jeff, you know he's capable of shooting under 40 consistently, so it didn't start out too well, but he got his act together, obviously. But look at Kim Todd with the 37. He had one, two, three, four, five, six, what? Nine parts. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's his one bogey. Nice round, Kim. Congrats. That is a hell of a round. And uh, there's the points there. Okay, so moving on to five. This tea time, let's see who this was. Hank. Hank and Paul against Paul, and Mark couldn't make it. He had to work. Um, looks like... Pretty average, uh, close to your average there. A couple of pars right off the bat for Hank. A couple more pars. Really quite a more. Two, four, six. Very nice. Paul. A shot of 49. Just a couple of, just real consistent there. And a par there on the, oh, that's Bogue. Nevertheless. Very consistent. And Paul Hansen uh, shot very well, I would say. That's kind of below his, what's his average? Yeah, that's six below. What the hell got into Paul here? He parred that. There's another par. There's a bird right there. What? Oh, two birdies. That's right. He had back-to-back -back birdies right there. Then another par. Yeah, pretty nice. That that doesn't hurt when you get two back-to-back -back birdies. That kind of helps the scorecard a little, as you can see. Nice job there. Moving on. Dwayne and Josh and Steve Isley. Ed couldn't make it. Um, pretty cons pretty pretty uh, close to their averages, I'd say. Let's see here. A little bit higher, but that's the way it goes on the first on the first week. You gotta get your you get your sea legs a little bit there. Josh had a couple of rough holes, but then he pulled it together. Got himself a par at the end there. Dwayne, same thing. Had a par there. Par on the seventh. That's that's not easy to par, and he did it. So congrats there. And Steve Isley. Steady, steady Steve, right, right along, uh, shot real dang close to his average. So I think he won a ball for that in the, in the fourth, uh, uh, he's in the fourth, um, grouping, so he won the ball there. I'll get to that in a sec. Let's see. Stu and Mike against these guys. Uh, well, I'll get to it. Stu had a great round, 41. Uh, I think that's it. Well, Mike, okay, sandbag Mike. Sandbagging because, because he came off of about, I don't know, 15 or 20 different surgeries and comes out in the, in the cold and the shitty conditions and shoots a 42. Look at that, par, 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 bogey, par, par. That's the way to score. And his partner uh, birdied at number two, um, par, on the par five. And just consistent, look at that, fives and fours. That's the way to score there, Stu. But these guys, this is the team to beat. I can almost assure you. 
we'll see what happens. Look at these scores. Look at Dave is probably the second best golfer in the league. Don't let him fool you that he's 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 mild mannered. He's he's um, he is a cutthroat man. He comes across as all mild mild mannered and not the case. Look at this. Birdie, birdie, par, 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 par. Okay. So, yeah, watch out for his ass. And Jeff. Look at Jeff. 39. Those guys are the team to beat. Uh, birdies. Birdies all over the place. Okay. Last but not least. Is this last? If I missed one, I'm sorry, guys. We'll try to, no, this... Where's Al and... Oh, this is it. Okay. Um, okay, Jan and Joseph and Tom and Al here. Let's see. So pretty consistent. Jan shot, oh, right at his average. His average is 46. He shot it, so I bet you he won a ball. I'll check. Joseph right there, actually below. Joseph shot just a tad better, just, a, just right about one stroke better than his average. So nice and consistent couple of pars there there's a two on jan score to that part that that tough par three seventh and people are scoring there it looks like what's this tom and al same old fellas doing their thing Let's see is there anything of mention there oh i know what it was tom on the what is that six seven eight nine i heard tell six no it's five teed off and put it in the water over 13. So I'm guessing he aimed left, he aimed left and it went dead straight. That's probably what happened. But anyways, there we go. So let's look at the, let's look at who won here. Uh, I got it right here on the back. By the way, if the, when I print these, I'm gonna duplex the stuff on the back. So if you were wondering where this is, it's on the back. So here's the, it was, it was Brian won division one for close to average, Phil two, Jan three, and Steve Isley four. Congrats, fellas. So that's the wrap up. Uh, I hope, uh, I hope we continue with some good golf. And thanks for checking out the video and we'll see you next Tuesday.